Hello and welcome to Soap by Dennis. My name is Dennis and today I'm showing you how to make this um, Nautic Ocean Mediterranean soap with frosting inspired by royalty soaps. Um, I've watched her videos so many times and I've always wanted to try it. Um, and I finally ordered myself um, one of those tips um, that is pretty much exactly like what Katie uses in her videos. And it's, um, um, I know she uses a different brand, but I'm using a Wilton one. And it is um, called uh, the number 8B, uh, yeah, tip 8B by Wilton. And um, yeah, just to get those beautiful little dollops of frosting on top of the soap. Uh, now I'm adding my light solution to my oils. It's got silk in it again, which you can see. And um, I, that's why I always put it through a sieve. And now I'm starting to blend a little bit until I reach emulsion. Uh, adding my fragrance oil to the entire batch and after that I will separate into four different colors. So I'm always checking to see if I reached emulsion and I'm always checking the shaft of my stick blender um, and once I reach the emulsion it won't separate anymore on the, on the stick blender and that's when I know I can start separating my batter into my different cups. So there we go. I'm adding blue. It's a wonderful blue mica by You Make It Up. Um, I believe it's called Electric Blue, but I will put all the ingredients uh, below in this video in the description. Now I've got two types of turquoise. I've got a more bluish turquoise and a more green turquoise. And I just love those these three colors together because uh, they really remind me of Mediterranean or Caribbean um, ocean. It's just Oh, I just love this combination and then I want to make the rest of my batter totally white so I'm adding my uh, titanium dioxide which is premixed with water. Uh, my premix had a high water content um, in relation to the amount of titanium dioxide which meant I needed to add more and more and more uh, to get my white color and um, which was a little bit dumb because I, I just didn't measure very well when I premixed my bottle and um, that's how you can also get glycerin rivers if there's too much water in your soap. But it turned out to be okay because I already started out with a very low water content and um, yeah, it all went well. So I finally reached the white that I wanted and once I reach trace, I start um, stick blending my other colors. And I work again from light to dark. In this case, dark, I mean, all three are pretty similar. Um, but I start with the lightest turquoise and then I work my way up to the blue um, just so I don't have to clean my stick blender in between mixing. So there we go. I always try and reach uh, a good trace before I pour a, a drop swirl uh, because I don't want my colors to blend into each other and I really want them to be separate. So I've got my mold. I've also, um, with a marker, I marked where, like how big my soap bars will be so that it's easier to do my frosting. Now I start pouring my colors into the white. And I already have a very sad message for you guys. My camera stopped filming when I did my, my frosting. Um, which is a little bit silly because that was the whole point of this video is showing um, the first time trying this type of frosting and um, But I still wanted to share it with you guys and just sh at least share how I did the base of the soap because the drop swirl turned out to be really pretty and um, Yeah, it's just uh, such a pity and I, I found out after I finished filming and then I was like w where did it go? It's 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 not there. So no idea how this happened, but um, Yeah, sadly, I don't have that so I'm just emptying out all my colors, except for the white, because I need my white for the frosting later on. And just trying to make it look a little bit pretty, even though it doesn't really matter, because my frosting will go on top of there. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it's such a pity. Um, my batter, since these fragrant, this fragrance oil, well, it's a mixture of two fragrance oils. One is called uh, Mittelmeer, which is German for Mediterranean, and the other is called Nautic. And um, they're very well, like these fragrance oils do not ex uh, accelerate or rise and it stays fluid so long. So this was after about 45 minutes and it's still not at the consistency that I need it to be. 
I could have stick blended more, but my stick blender was dirty with the, the blue colors and I, I probably should have just washed it uh, in between and start mixing. So this point now is after one and a half hours. It's still not at the right consistency, but I had to wake up early the next day and I decided to just try it and go to bed because I, um, I really needed my sleep because I had to go to work uh, the next day. So uh, it's, it's all right, but uh, it turned out to be a little bit flatter than I anticipated or than what I wanted. Um, still, I, I think it's, yeah, it, it, was, it was fine. But like I said, it could have been a little bit thicker. And I guess it's better to use a fragrance oil for this that really accelerates or a recipe that gets thicker a bit faster with more solid oils. As you can see, it's already dripping down. Uh, it's also because this tip is very, very th wide. It's about uh, 1.5 centimeters and uh, yeah. But it worked, as you can see, I'm still pretty pleased with how my frosting turned out. Um, I also did a little mica drizzle on top, uh, which means I mixed my mica with um, some oil and then, um, yeah, drizzled some of that on top of the frosting. Now I'm first getting rid of the end pieces and now I'm a little bit scared to cut because I can't really tell if I'm at the exact right angle. Uh, since uh, the wire comes from below, it's hard to see. So I decided to just first cut off the other end piece and then work my way from there. <clears throat> and I believe I'm just gonna go for it this time. Exactly. And there we go, got the first piece. And I think the drop swirl looked really cool. The colors are really pretty and um, I always think it's crazy how the base color sort of disappears almost. Like there's, I mean, there is white, but a lot of it is not visible anymore. Um, but anyway, like the, the three other colors had a lot more volume obviously than a white. So, and it still worked out quite pretty because the white sort of started to separate, like be, be like they were like a separate, the white is like a separation of the other colors, like in between. And uh, it just adds a really nice contrast, I think. And I actually think the Michael Drizzle ended up uh, looking quite cool. I'm just a little bit worried when I start washing my hands with them that um, I get a lot of mica everywhere, but I guess after a few washes, uh, it'll be gone and it won't be so much of a problem. So here I'm trying to get rid of that little bit of frosting there, but and I wanted to cut it, but it turned out it just came off and I didn't have to cut my bar. So I've got one bar that's a little bit thicker than the other ones. Um, but yeah, this was my first time trying the Royalty Soaps frosting. I'm super pleased with how the drops roll turned out, the frosting turned out okay. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And in the future, when I make another one like this, I will definitely um, film it and double check and triple check because uh, I don't want it to happen again. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this and see you next time. Happy soaping.